Hey guys, how's it going? Gage with Aquarium Talk, and this is Aquarium Talk TV. Today's episode, I'm going to tell you guys about the anemone that I have here. Um, I did a video a while back on this channel. It's actually called um, How to Care for and Host Your Anemone. And in that video, I discussed, you know, exactly that. How you take care of the anemone, what the anemone needs, and how to get your clownfish to host it. This video is actually going to be on propagation of the anemone. Um, I'm going to give you guys some tips on that and also the splitting, the natural dividing of the anemone. So this right here is my rose bubble tip anemone. Um, it's actually become two... Eh, get out of the way, guys. Sorry, my fish are very friendly. <laughs> Every time somebody's around the tank, they think that they're going to get food and they just swarm. So... If you can tell, there's actually two anemones here. If my purple tang would move, get out of the way. There's two anemones here. It was just one, and it was probably roughly the size of that rainbow chalice there. Kind of hard to see all the colors in it. Um, camera doesn't really pick up on all the colors, so some of my corals look kind of dull, and they're not. But anyways, it was about the size of that chalice, and then I came home one day, and I noticed that it split into two. So... You know, I kind of figured that was going on, so to test the theory, I actually have a large pair of metal tweezers, which I use to, you know, sometimes I'll feed the fish with it. I'll, I, these guys, actually, I can heat, feed them by hand now. It's kind of neat. Um, but I was using it to feed the anemone when it was a different in a different area, and I couldn't reach it as well. So I actually put the tongs down in there, and I touched the tentacles, and they retracted, and I could clearly see that there were two anemones, so it did indeed split. So why do they do that? Well, that's... Honestly, that's nature's way of, of the anemone reproducing. That's how the anemone reproduces. Um, now, propagation-wise, it's always best to let nature take its course. Um, obviously, there's no trauma caused to the animal, so it's, you know, it, it's more than likely going to survive. You can take a razor blade and cut them straight down the middle, and you know, hence you have now two pieces, and then Theoretically, what's supposed to happen is within a day's time or so, the anemone will actually close up and it's now two anemones or two pieces. Um, a new mouth forms, it heals itself, so on and so forth. Um, honestly, I think that's a bit risky. I've seen it done a lot of times and I know that people will tend to have really good success with it. But to me, it's just a little bit riskier than, than what I'd like. Uh, they're not cheap. Um, you know, this anemone is probably $80 if you were to go out and buy it somewhere, 60 to $80. Um, the pink ones I know are, are more expensive than the greens. So, how do we get them to split? Honestly, I don't really think there's a rhyme or reason. They just kind of do it when they want to do it. This anemone, like I said, was roughly the size of that chalice. I've seen them way larger, you know, two, three, four, five times larger than that. And they haven't split. So I guess I just got lucky, and it decided, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to split now, and now there's two of me. What you can do, though, is you can enhance its growth, which I guess theoretically would enhance its desire to split or reason to split. And that's just by feeding it more often. Um, if you feed your anemone every week or twice a week, it's going to grow fairly quickly. When that happens, it's more likely that it's going to split. You're not going to have a little baby anemone, you know, split into two or three other anemones. Uh, typically, the larger the anemone, the more times it divides. So if your best bet, if you don't want to risk chopping the anemone in half, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that, your best bet is to just go ahead and feed the anemone as often as you can. Uh, feed it a mixed diet. I feed mine shrimp, uh, silver sides, brine shrimp, mice shrimp, stuff like that. Um, even I'll even take some of the stuff that I feed the corals, and I'll just squirt right in it, and it'll close up and eat it. So a very diet. Um, but yeah, so basically, guys, that's that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. It's really all I have to say about it. There's, you know, I, I don't think anybody really knows why an anemone does it or, or when they're going to do it. They just kind of pick and choose their time. And like I said, you can enhance the probability of it happening by feeding it more. And the larger that it gets, the more likely... I would say that it's going to divide. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll try and answer them the best that I can. Thanks, guys. God bless. Bye.